everybody out there, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. So here on my channel, I have shared over the years different videos on the subject of minimalism. And I realized though that I've never actually sat down and addressed the benefits of minimalism. And you know, you don't have to be an extreme minimalist in order to kind of reap the benefits of it. I'm certainly not someone who lives with zero furniture or just, you know, a couple of utensils in my kitchen. Although I would love to share someday kind of my story with minimalism and how I got started with simplifying my life about a decade ago. It's, it's a pretty interesting story. But point being that um, I certainly have different belongings and items around me, but over the years I've always stuck to the same general principles being that I do my best to surround myself with things that I use, things that I need, and things that I love or value. And as a result, I have noticed a number of different benefits from doing that in my life. And so whether you are new to the world of living simply or you are just interested in learning about why it can be so wonderful to simplify our lives, then that is what this video is all about and let's get started. The first benefit here of minimalism, I want to start with the absolute basics and that is less clutter. When you choose to live simply, you're minimizing the amount of superfluous stuff that you have in your environment. Whether your bedroom, your kitchen, or your office, a minimalist approach to living just makes it easier to maintain a tidy space or it makes it easier to tidy up when you need to. It just makes it a quicker process. And I think that most of us can agree that it feels good when we have a tidy or just clearer space. A clear space means a clearer mind and I am a firm believer in the sentiment that our, the state of your surroundings can be a direct reflection of the state of your mind and vice versa. And that brings me to point number two, that minimalism can help to reduce stress. Clutter and stress can certainly go hand in hand. Uh, and I think we can all agree, it's annoying to constantly have to deal with piles of papers that you have no spot for, or items that are taking up space that you don't need, or dirty dishes or cluttered tabletops. Um, you know, you get the idea. Those sorts of things can be a source of stress for us in our lives. I become less productive when things are messy and disorganized, and so I do my best to keep things tidy. Doesn't mean that I'm tidy all of the time by any means, but I do my best, and it does make a difference in my state of mind. I will add here too, although I'm going to talk about this in a moment, that Another way that living simply helps to reduce stress is that we start to implement more um, like more of a sense of gratitude in our life. We start to feel more grateful for what's around us, which in turn helps us to reduce our stress levels. Point number three, living simply can help us to save time. If you are heading out and you need to try and find your keys quickly, or if you are looking for a lid to the container for your lunchbox when you're packing your lunch, or a certain utensil in your kitchen, or you're looking for a screwdriver somewhere in your house, if you know the less cluttered overloaded kitchen cupboards or other areas in your house the easier it is to locate things and find things and the easier it is to have a spot for things other ways that we save time through a minimalist approach to living are through things like for example i'm a big proponent of keeping a capsule style wardrobe where you have fewer pieces of clothing but they're very very interchangeable and very versatile and this definitely helps you to save time and reduce the stress of getting dressed in the morning we also save time by just the time that we spend on shopping for things always wanting to bring new things into our lives and of course the time that it takes to constantly declutter and tidy up. Those sorts of things take up a lot of our time and when we are living a little more simply, it does not take nearly as much time to tidy up or to clean up or to organize overall. Point number four is saving money. So absolutely I had to include this point here on this list that you're gonna save money when you are living more simply, when you are living minimally and that is because the general kind of concept of a of minimalism is not buying or having as much stuff generally speaking thus you're saving money you may find that as a result of spending 
less money on accumulating items that may not ultimately enrich your life, you have more money to save altogether, or you have more money to spend on activities or experiences with friends and family uh, that you might enjoy a lot more as you begin to recognize what you do and what you do not need in your life. Number five, minimalism can be very environmentally friendly. So this is a wonderful benefit that I think can sometimes be overlooked. But again, the less that we buy, especially disposable products, um, the less we are wasting. We have a much lower waste output, whether that's clothing, decor, electronics, you know, makeup, beauty items, um, single use plastic, you name it. When we aren't as interested in constantly bringing more and more and more into our lives. We are definitely being a little more eco-friendly because of that. What also can go hand in hand with those who are interested in minimalism or simple living, it can also be an interest in um, eco-friendly living, just, just green living uh, sometimes starts to develop kind of as a result, a bit of a domino effect. You start to learn a little bit more about the repercussions of consumerism and and fast products and all of that and you start to become a little bit more interested in reusable items and those sorts of things too can start to trickle into your life and the last benefit that I want to list here of minimalism is your ability to find more happiness in your life you're much more likely to find enjoyment and satisfaction in your life because you start to appreciate what you already have or just having less in general. Your perspective sort of starts to shift from fixating on the things that you don't have to the things that you do have around you and this I guarantee you're gonna experience at some point or another if you embark on a minimalist journey you're gonna start to experience a little bit more gratitude in your life and there are many studies out there that actually show that the feelings of gratitude can help to elicit feelings of happiness. It feels good when you appreciate what you have and you realize hey there's a lot that I really don't need. I've talked about gratitude in a couple of my previous videos that I will link below, um, but it really does make such a difference in our lives. And I, you know, I think it's something that we can all work on, just gratitude in general, myself included. I'm definitely not the saint of gratefulness every hour of every day, uh, but it is something that I have started to practice a lot more in my life, especially recently, and it has made a world of a difference in just, I don't know, just how I feel day to day, um, just appreciating what I have and knowing that I already have everything that I need and, and all of those wonderful things. So that brings us to the end of today's video. I really hope that you took something from this and you're a little bit more inspired to perhaps simplify your life. I know that you'll feel really good because of it, even if it's just a little bit of simplifying here and there, it really makes a difference in our lives. But I would love to hear from you if you have any personal insights on this topic of ways that you have kind of benefited from living minimally or from simplifying. Definitely share your comments below. I would love to hear from you and I will see you all in my next video.